What's cracking, y'all? It's your boy, Ray G, joined, as always, by my man, Jay Rich. And this is the Destination Devi Dynasty Trade Show, brought to you by the Destination Devi patrons, patreon.com forward slash all gas. Or you could use that code right down there at the bottom somewhere. There it is over there in front of Jay. Wake up on Underdog Fantasy. And if you use that promo code wake up, they will match you up to $100 uh, if you're a first time depositor. And along with getting free money from Underdog, you will get access to our Discord and the Trade Channel for free for the year. So really good incentive for you to do that. We've got a lot of trades, Jay. I was absent last week. I was in um, mm-hmm. Vegas, man. I went to go see Usher in concert, yeah. me and the wife and some friends. So I was out there uh, doing it my way and nice and slow and all that other good stuff with USHER. You held down the trade show one deep, my friend, but I'm back. I'm back let's ready go. to look at these deals, man. So let's take a look at them. Got a lot of trades. There's a, <laughs> there's a lot going on in the old Discord uh, right now. So let's pull it up. Let's pull up the Discord and uh, let's get into the first trade because I see old Lamar Jackson. So I want to see a trade. And it's kind of little, but damn it. Let's just do it, Jay. Uh, read this one off for us as I timestamp this for the people because I know they wanted to be timestamped. It looks like it's Lamar Jackson and LaVisca Chenault for Terry McLaurin, Trey Lance, Romeo. Is that Romeo Dobbs? And That's the Romeo Dobbs. Mm-hmm. Wow. Lamar Jackson, LaVisca Chenault. Who cares? For Terry McLaurin, Trey Lance, Romeo Dobbs, and the 110. Well, let's get let's get the settings. That's my bad. I put you in a bad boat. I put you in a bad boat. 12-team Superflex start 10, right? Okay. I'm contending and want to upgrade to a second elite QB. Still deep at wide receiver with Jamar Chase, Devontae Smith, Hollywood Brown, George Pickens, and Jacoby Myers. So good wide receiver room. 12-team Superflex start 10. Wanted to upgrade that elite, get an elite second quarterback. Gets Lamar, and who cares about LaVisca? Trades away the 110, Trey Lance, Terry McLaurin, and Romeo Dobbs. Jay, how you feeling about this one, man? I kind of like it. You know, I, Terry McLaurin, I mean, Romeo Dobbs definitely hasn't moved the needle. I don't think the 110, whoever that player is, is going to move the needle a ton. Um, I like McLaurin, but he's just, he hasn't quite hit that ceiling of what we believe he could be as an NFL wide receiver. You know, his quarterback play obviously is awful. That's not necessarily going to change this year. I like the idea of shoring up the quarterback. I don't know if Lamar is definitely going to be that guy, but if you take in the shot on the case of Lance being the guy, obviously don't want to do that. So I don't mind the move here, but Ray, how do you feel about it? Do you think you're giving up too much potentially in value to get Lamar? Nah, man, this is, this is stuff where you got to see through the noise, right? Start 10, Jay. Uh, You're not starting Romeo Dobbs with any confidence week in and week out. Now the 110 could be a very good pick. That could be a Zay Flowers. It could be a Charbonnet. Mm -hmm. It could be uh, you know, Roshan, if he gets capital, we did Matt Miller's mock on wake up and Roshan went to the Cowboys. Tajay Spears went to the Cincinnati Bengals. So this 110 yep. is a nice pick, right? Trey Lance can pl- listen. I, we don't know. We don't know. Either way, anybody who says he's 100 percent good, they're full of shit. And if you're out here saying that he's 100 percent a bust, you're full of shit. None of us know. But I, I don't want to embrace that volatility with exactly. Trey Lance. And I'm just reading the tea leaves, and I'm just like, yo, if if he's really on the table to be moved for and Sam Darnold and broke arm Brock makes That's you feel okay, good. it's probably not good. So I'm okay pivoting off of Lance. The real, I love me some Terry McClure, and I do think in a start 10, he's probably in your lineup every single week. But his yeah. situation is is kind of in flux with Sam Howell at quarterback. So I think this is fine compensation to give up for Lamar Jackson. What this tri- type of trade does is it makes this side feel like they got a lot. Man, I got McLaurin and Dobbs and Trey Lance and the 110. And all I had to do was give up Lamar Jackson. Uh, give me the Lamar Jackson side of this trade, uh, Jay. I think okay. this is a I think this was a good offer that was put together in order to acquire a top. Eight I mean, you're worst, getting probably, what, quarterback. three firsts in terms of value back for Lamar, which is not Lance. bad. I mean, I'd be I'd be hard pressed to see anyone trade Lance for less than a first. Yeah, right. McLaurin's maybe not worth a first nah, in all he's markets not. because he's he just not. isn't, and that's that's more what I was getting at. Right, the production's there, but the value just hasn't been for McLaurin. That's the biggest problem. But I do like the uh, Lamar tier up here. What is this? Uh, three picks for five. So since it's rookie season, normally I would just ignore this, but uh. <sighs> Lineup start eight. It's 12 team start eight. And this individual gave up the 110, 
the 2-3, the 2-4, the 2-5, and the 2-8 in order to get the 1-7, 2-11, and 4-3. So he gave up a bunch of second rounders at start eight in the 110 in order to move up and get the uh to get the one seven. What side, what side do you like, Jay? And now this individual has one, two, one, four, one, seven, two, eleven, four, three. I get it, start eight, but is there much of a difference between 107 and 110 in a half PPR Superflex? Maybe. Um, again, I I might prefer just to take the shots at two, three, two, four, two, five. That's Gibbs. And pray one of them is good. It's you're only starting eight. Gibbs, so too. it's Gibbs, it's potentially JSN, maybe Will Levis there. So I guess I'm fine with it, Jay. It's start eight, so you just want the best player. So if that's just want best if you got to pay that to get to 107, you might as well go after that. Yeah, I, I'm I don't fine. hate it from either side. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. All right, my boy Marlon. Let's see what Marlon did. All right, this is a 12 team single QB start 11. All right, so he gave up Kyle Pitts and got back TJ Hawkinson in a 24 first round pick. Jay, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. <laughs> Did you do it too? Yeah, yeah that's a smash, right? Had that's to. a smash. Too easy. Yeah. Too easy. I love Kyle Pitts. I'm not going to say he's a bust, but I got to see it. And if you're giving me a, a player bust, who don't has do shown it don't do that. and a first, I never said he's a bust, but I got to see it. And I think that's fair from Pitts now. We, 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 did, we he not have a thousand, did he not have a thousand yards as a rookie? And then you bring in a receiver and what happens? He got he's hurt. Irrelevant. He got, it was Marcus Mariota. He cut it out. Like, Kyle Pitts is still dope. Kyle Pitts is still a boss. He's still a beast. But this is the quintessential leverage trade. If I can move Pitts, let's just say he's dynasty tight end one for the dynasty tight end two, and I get a 24 first on top of it. Whoever yep. this is, have to do it. Marlon, you've been tapped in with DD for a long time. Let this individual know, uh, will I be damned? Let him know, patreon.com forward slash all gas to avoid doing stuff like this. This is the anti leverage mood. This is a minus EV trade. Good job, Marlon. Great trade for you. Give me TJ Hawkinson in the 24 first. Not a doubt about it. Jay, we're not. I'm not even going to do it. What a gross trade. I'm Why not even, I'm not even going to do it. All right. Read this one off for us right here, Jay. So we have Dak Prescott and Najee Harris being traded for Kyler Murray and the 206. I'm not really sure what the move is here. So it is super flex PPR 1.5 tight end premium, six point per passing touchdown, minus two per pick. So pretty standard, slight premium, no tight ends in this trade. Ray, would you rather have Dak Prescott or Kyler Murray right now? And for me, it's very easily Najee Harris over the 206. Yeah, Najee and Dak side. And he's trying to compete, took the value on Najee. If you just say yeah. Dak and Kyler are in wash, Najee Harris or the 26, give me Najee Harris. So this is a good trade by Dio. Yeah. This is a good trade right here. Give me Dak and Najee. Kyler's not going to play this year. Well, let me not say that. I don't believe he's going to play this year, and it's not because I don't think he'll be ready, but I think Arizona's going to be so bad that they're not going to want to trot out their franchise quarterback on an awful team. And then the 2-6 yep. again. Uh, Najee Harris over the 2-6. I don't care what you think about Najee long-term. He's better than the 2-6. So there we go. Absolutely. All right, Jay, let's... um, Hmm... Hmm. Oh, we got we got a lot. Look at this one. All right. I, I, I kind of want to talk about this, right? Uh, eight team super flex half point. Uh, you get half a point tight end bonus. Uh, start two tight ends. Start two quarterbacks. What is it? Start 14 total. 18. Yeah, but it's eight team league. It's though. So what's Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got Mahomes, right? Daniel Jones, Ritter, Stevenson, Kenneth Walker, Tyler Algier. Justin Jefferson, Christian Watson. So wide receivers outside of Jets is a little little shaky. And he's got McBride, Dolchich. So he ended up acquiring, who, buddy, Kirk Cousins, Christian McCaffrey, TJ Hawkinson, David Montgomery, and Amen Ross St. Brown for Trey Lance, Traylon Burks, the 104, the 305 and 23, a 24 first and a 24 second. Jay, this is a big, big trade, Jay, but it, <laughs> I'm looking at this and this is a there's a clear winner right here in my opinion clear clear yeah you want the Kirk Cousins package here very easily for me those draft picks could be great but in a start eight league like you know he said 14 starters eight team that's basically the equivalent to like a 10 team league maybe a 12 team because even in a 12 team start 10 that's still 120 starters and you're not at 120 starters in an eight team start 14 so give me the better players clearly Christian McCaffrey TJ Hawkinson Kirk Cousins will be a suitable quarterback to 
Um, Ray, do you have any reservations about no. Kirk Cousins as your QB two in well, a start like in his eight team league? He's got Desmond Ritter. I mean, he's got uh, Daniel yeah. Jones. He's got Mahomes. Jones. And you, and like, he's got Mahomes. Mahomes gives you so much margin for error, right? And then you still sure. have Daniel Jones. You add Kirk Cousins. You get off of Trey Lance. You traded Traylon Burks. I mean, this is a no brainer. Every one of these yeah. guys he traded for, Hawkinson, Amon Ra, Monty, and they're Christian the McCaffrey, lineup. they're in the starting lineup from day one. Every last one of them. Yeah. And then you could play the matchup game with your other three quarterbacks. Great trade. I didn't even need the context for this one. Great trade. Give me CMC, Monty, TJ Hawkinson, Amon Ra, and Kirk Cousins. Easy. Good trade. Good trade. Um, mm, Jay, can you, can, can you read this one off for the people right here? I'm time stamping so got- the show, so you got to do some of this shit. So we got Brees Hall and Traylon Burks being traded for Garrett Wilson and the 111 and 2-2. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is uh that is something. I'm not sure if a Naked Thunder Well, I mean Naked Thunder's given up Brees Hall. I mean yeah, for me it's up- very easily Garrett Wilson in the picks. Like if you're telling me I'm getting Garrett Wilson for Brees Hall, I am a very very happy Fantasy manager. Yes. Uh, Traylon Burks is fine, but give me the 111 and the 202 to get rid of Traylon Burks, and I will happily take Garrett Wilson over Brees Hall. Ray, I'm assuming you feel the same about that? Yeah, give me Garrett Wilson, the 111 and the 202, and you get a little bit of leverage there uh, with the three for two, Absolutely. right? Garrett Wilson for me over Brees Hall, one for one, so give me Wilson over Hall. And then you can make the argument that Burks is probably better than what you're getting at 111 or 22, but is he better than the combination of 111 and 22 or the flexibility and the leverage that those two picks give? And I don't think the answer is yes right now. Right now, the yep. Tennessee situation is kind of in flux. Quarterback, we don't really have a lot of receivers around him. Could be the guy, but I think 111 and 202, if somebody offered you that for Traylon Burks, you would probably accept that. I'd be deal. pretty happy. I'd re-roll it into QJ, re-roll it into Zay yep. Flowers, you know, whoever whoever your pick is there, and you get the other one as well that could be a running back to help oh, out the roster. So I like it. Scoop Sizzle back with another banger right here. And it's a 12-team Superflex PPR start 11. I'm rebuilding and not quite ready for Bijan. All right, Jay. Let's see what the okay. not quite ready for Bijan offer is. Can you read that? I know it's I know it's small, but read it off for the people. We have Scoop Sizzle acquiring Justin Fields and Christian Watson and traded away Michael Pittman and the 101. Ray, is Justin Fields enough for you to move the 101? That is the question, right? That's the question. So let, let me ask you this. Let, let's just start with the easiest yeses, right? I offer you Joe Burrow for the 101. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right? Okay. I offer you Justin Herbert for the 101. Yes. I offer you Trevor Lawrence for your 101. Yes. I offer you Justin Fields for your 101. Yes. I don't know, man. It's, it should yes. be a yes. It's it should be. Yes. But Ray, okay, here's the problem though. And this is where this is the conversation I want to have with you about pe- to people. You have to believe in Justin Fields. Yes. If you are any bit unsure at all, because this is a rebuild, right? So yes, he, today he's worth three firsts, but tomorrow and the following season, he may not have that value anymore. He may be, you know, in the Dak Prescott tier or a little bit lower. He may not be all the way up here with Trevor Lawrence. So I think that is a bit of a factor for me as well is like you're not competing. You're trying to rebuild. You're not ready for Bijan. I think it's a fine move, but I don't want to have all of my chips in Justin Fields. And I think that's that's the problem for me. Is there a better quarterback to acquire package of players that you could acquire for the 101 that you feel more certain about long term than Justin Fields. And and that's that's a difficult conundrum because Fields is kind of in a weird spot right now. Ray, would you make that trade or feel yes. better about that trade if that was Lamar Jackson instead of Justin Fields? I would do it for Fields and feel fine. 101 okay. for Fields? Like for for Fields in yeah. Superflex start 11, 12 team, that's that's the cost for Fields as a running back. And I know he's a good one. Yeah. Or he's supposed to be a good one. But give me Justin Fields and Christian Watson, man. Like I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I who Watson, would you take between Christian Watson and Michael Pittman? Just I don't, curious I here. don't care. I probably, probably, probably. Pittman. I would probably take. Really, I think I'd potentially lean Watson. Potentially, probably, probably Pittman for me. But they're the same kind of guy. I'm fine with either or. I mean, Pittman's gonna yeah. be a low 1100. He'll get his targets. He'll catch his touchdowns. I'd probably take Pittman, but 
Give me Fields over the 101. The value of the quarterback in super flex versus yeah. the single isolated running back. I want Justin Fields, but you're right. You, you you probably would need to have some convictions because some people probably don't have that conviction and they're like, I don't I don't want Fields. I don't believe in Fields long term. Yeah. It's not so. a this year move, right? So that's the hard part. Is hopefully he can, you know, continue to build off his season and play well. But yeah, the the premise of what you're doing makes a ton of sense for sure. 111 and 112 for Jalen Waddle. 12 team super flex. Jalen Waddle. Start 11. Yeah. Not close. Okay. Yeah. Give me Jalen okay, Waddle. Give me Jalen Waddle. 1,400 yard receiver for a bag of beans. I will happily take that trade. Yeah. 111 and 112 for Waddle. Good Lord. Give me Jalen freaking Waddle. Let's stop. Let's stop the madness. Give me Waddle. All right. In the same league, he traded Darren Waller, Kenny Pickett, Rashid Shahid, and the 201 for a 24 first, the 308, and Michael Pittman. 12 team start 11. No tight end premium. So I don't really care about okay. Waller. And he's rebuilding. Needed the wide receiver help. 24 first should be a top four pick. I still have 103 to draft my QB2 behind Justin Herbert. So, okay. Waller, don't care. Waller, don't care about in non tight end premium leagues. I mean, he's fine. I mean, you want a tight end, no he doubt. He could be good. Rashid Shahid, I, I know yeah, for best ball, league, but yeah, we'll no. Kenny Pickett in the 201 for a 24 first, the 308, and Michael Pittman. I like the bottom side. I think this is a good trade. Kenny Pickett for the 24 first. It's t- I'm telling you, it's top four. So you know who that is, right? If this thing is top four, Caleb Williams, Drake May, uh, Marvin Marv. Harrison Jr., Brock Bowers. And I know it's tight end premium, so you don't have to worry about Bowers. But at least those three right there. Outside of a Quinn Ewers who may pop. Shador Sanders looked pretty good at the spring game, but probably not going to project him to be a top pick right now. First round pick or Kenny Pickett? 24 top four pick or Kenny Pickett? I'm tempted to take Kenny Pickett. Oh boy. Okay. So, I, got some I, so, so that's, okay. this is where I, I have a He's bit of got 103. With you, right? He's is got that, 103. Still got 103. You you do like, okay, so you still want Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, A. Rich, Will Levis probably over Pickett, but I don't hate having Pickett as my QB2 either, right? Like okay. you're rebuilding and you're going to take this new quarterback who could be Kenny Pickett in a year, right? So I think that's the only only issue you run into is that Bryce and CJ may be valued closer to Kenny Pickett than you're hoping for after a season. I don't necessarily think that's going to happen because there's a lot of belief in the fantasy community in this class, but I, I don't hate it from either side. You know, you still get 201, which could be something potentially this year. The 24 first, you're saying top four, but it kind of better be top four because you yeah. need to get a good player, I think, to get that value back. And we already talked about how we kind of do like Pittman, but I don't hate it from either side. I think it's a decent trade. Oh, all right. Oh, boy. 12 Justin team. Herbert. 12 team super flex, uh, 1.5 tight end premium. We got Justin Herbert being acquired for not one, not two, but three first round picks 103, 108 this year, and a 24 first next year. Jay, talk to me, Justin Herbert. Congratulations. You just traded away CJ Stroud, Zay Flowers, and a 24 first, and you got yourself some Justin Herbert. Congratulations. Air horn for you. Give me Justin Herbert easily, easily. Three first sounds nice until those picks become players, and all of a sudden you're like, what the hell did I just trade my Justin Herbert for? Yeah. I mean, if this is the going rate for Justin Herbert, Jay, uh, I'm going to give this a fire. Trade for him immediately. Uh, yeah, give me, give me Justin Herbert. If if all I'm giving up is CJ or Bryce or Stroud and Zay Flowers, like, it's Justin Herbert. It's no doubt about yep. it. It's Justin Herbert. Oh, boy. Uh, 12 team super flex tight end premium start 10. Jay, what do we have right here? The 101 and 203 being traded away for Jonathan Taylor and Trey Lawn Burks. I think, Ray, we both can agree that clearly the highest valued player is B. John Robinson, the 101, whoever you want to say that is followed by Jonathan Taylor, 203 and Burks. I'd be curious how people think about trading away Burks for the 203. Probably not enough value, but is it enough to make up for trading away the 101 and getting Man. Jonathan Taylor back? <sighs> trading away one depreciating asset for another depreciating asset. Do you believe more in B. John Robinson or Jonathan Taylor, right? I mean, I believe in both. If I had to pick one of the two, I would take B. John over JT right now, as would the Dynasty community. Yes. 203 or Burks, I would take Burks over the 203. I'm not even, that's not even a question for me. But is the delta between Does those two enough gap? to bur- Yeah. I don't think it is. I think I'd probably, I think in terms of value, you probably want the 101. Yes, you do. 
Yeah, I think the value is on the 101, 203. And I think, you know, you have the choice to go running back, wide receiver, tight end at that 203. And if you were just trading away the 101, like if you someone offered me, I'll give you, I'll give you Jonathan Taylor and Traylon Burks, and you'll get the or give me those guys for the 101, I still might take it. Yeah, I think it's the I think it's the picks, man. I think it's the picks. Even though I have a lot more confidence in this bottom combination scoring me those points. But I think I'd rather have Bijan in the 203. It's just more valuable right now in Dynasty. And I can do a little bit more with that. And if Bijan does hit one of those sweet landing spots, you know, it's Yeah, you, it's you, wouldn't, wheels get, up. you wouldn't get him for those prices. Yeah, it's wheels up. 10 teams, super flex, tight end premium, start 10. Same guy made this deal. Traded away Javonta Williams, Amari Cooper, and Lamar Jackson along with the 207 and got Josh Jacobs and Justin Herbert. 10 team super flex start 10 tight end premium Herbert and Jacobs or Lamar Javonta Cooper in the 207. Man, I guess I got to take Herbert because the other pieces just don't really matter a ton. Maybe you think Javonta is valuable. I'm not really there right now. Jacobs should be fine for at least this year, assuming he plays. I think you just have to lean on the slight value of Herbert over Lamar here. But Ray, I think the package is okay if you're maybe trying to contend. Um, outside of that, though, I think it has to be Herbert. Yeah, Lamar, I would take Herbert over Lamar, and I don't think it's a wash. I think if 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 I sent you my Lamar for your Herbert, you'd want something else on top of it. And you probably Absolutely. would want, if we're being real, you probably would want, let's say from this deal, Amari and the 207. Probably. Yeah. Probably, right? Or at least Javonta in the 207. And I don't even know if that would be enough. I think it's the Herbert, Josh Jacobs side of this one. Um, I, I'm not as down on Lamar as others, but Javonta Williams and him probably not being ready for the season is really concerning yeah, with the knee injury. Difference. Cooper's getting a little older. I think this is a good package. And Cooper just had surgery too, didn't he? They all had surgery. Every name, the player this year. And I look up and now he's recovering from this surgery. Every one of them had damn surgery. Um, it's football, but I would take Justin Herbert and Josh Jacobs over the package. So I think that's a good trade. I think that is a good trade. Uh-oh, let's see what we have. Okay. All right. Jay, let's uh let's read through this one real quick. Let's see. This is uh this is something, right? I don't think the settings really matter here. So Yellow Dog got Patrick Mahomes four. And uh I will say this very clearly. Sam Darnold, Kyler Murray, the 209, a 24 second, the 111, and the 103. So two first, Kyler Murray, so maybe another two first there. Sam Darnold, 209, and a 24 second round pick, Ray, for Patrick Mahomes. All right. So um, a lot of people would see this, and they'd be like, man, 101, 103, that's a quarterback. So you gave up three quarterbacks, the 111, the 209, and the 24 second to get Mahomes. But Darnold doesn't really count. Kyler Murray's nope. hurt. We don't know what that rookie's yep. going to do. The 111 is Zach Charbonnet at best, right? And then two seconds for Mahomes? What are we doing? Give me Patrick Mahomes, Jay. Like, easy, yeah. right? It's It sounds nice to get Kyler. Well, Kyler's a top 10 quarterback, but he's, right. he's coming off the ACL. Like, we don't know what he's going to look like. We don't know what Arizona's going to look like, right? We don't a know mess. if Kyler Murray's going to be playing know. in Arizona. A mess. Like, it's, They're going to look a there's mess. There's a lot of uncertainty in this package and if you're trading away Patrick Mahomes you better get something certain back that you can feel really confident in and for me Kyler Murray just isn't quite that asset he could be there in a year but for right now it's just not quite there I'll happily take Patrick Mahomes this Sam Darnold is just this is pure junk this is this is trash that you put in a trade to make it appear more than what it is like that is pure quarterback Oh yeah, it's a quarterback, and he's he might and Trey start. Lance is on the track. Oh block, yeah, right? he might Brock start. Party not ready he's yet. hurt. Yeah, this is junk, trash. Kyler, one high first, one late first, and some seconds for Mahomes. What are we doing? Yuck. Yeah, I want Mahomes pretty easily, Jay. Pretty easy. Ooh, okay. Yep. All right, we got another Jalen Waddle trade here, Jay. Twelve team. Start nine, super flex PPR. He gets his first back, which projects to be a top three pick. So top three okay. pick in 2024, Jay. Top three pick 
in 2024. We've got Jalen Waddle being acquired for KJ Osborne, George Pickens, a 25 second, a top 324 first, and a 2024 second round pick. A five for one -er. No leverage in this trade. A five for one Jalen Waddle trade, Jay. What are you thinking? I think it depends on your direction because you know, Ray, Man, you know me. I, I want so that. Too. I want that top three first. If, so if, do if I. you're telling me it's top three, Drake, May, Caleb Williams, or heaven forbid, I get the God that is Marvin Harrison Jr. I am in. I, if, if you could trade, if I could trade away the rights to my Jalen Waddle for Marvin Harrison Jr. Today, I would do it uh, because same. that's how much I believe same. in Marvin Harrison Jr. And you said you agree. I don't hate and, the but, package. And, and like I don't get, hate getting Waddle, but it's you. You get you know you get Pickens who could be something. You get Osborne who could be something. You get the second, which should be high, should be decent as well. Like I just, I kind of like it. I kind it's it sounds crazy, but I kind of like it. If you want Waddle, though, I get it. He's a great player. Uh, this is this is an awful leverage trade, and and if that he gets back his own, which projects to be a top three pick, if they're getting back. If this 24 first is a, is a top three pick, in, in certain leagues you can kind of tell which teams are going to be shit, and in For other sure. leagues you don't know. But if you're telling me that's a top three first, and I'm getting George Pickens, and I'm getting K.J. Osborne, and I'm getting two seconds on top of it, I'll take the package over Jalen Waddle. Yeah. I'm taking the package it's, over Waddle, Jay. Yeah, it's interesting for sure, and I, I do kind of like it. I do kind of like it. Yep, agreed. Oh, oh, whoo, Dubridge. 10 team, super flex, tight end premium, start 10. Jay, read it off for us, baby. Read it off for us. What do we have? We have Justin Herbert, Antonio Gibson, Drake London, and Ray, Chris Ooh. Olave on one side of the trade. On the other side, Patrick Mahomes, Jordan Love, Christian Watson, so a little Green Bay stack there, and the 209. Ray, is there any world where you take Mahomes in this deal? I gotta look at this again. So Herbert, Gibson, Gibson, London, London, and Olave, and Olave, two top twelve wide receivers in dynasty for Mahomes, Love, Watson in the two oh nine. Yeah, I gotta go Herbert, man. I Herbert, gotta go London, I gotta and go Olave yeah. is a package. That is a, like, say what you want about Jordan Love, Christian Watson. That connection could be great, but you're getting two guys who are just ready wow. to go. Like, Alave and London are just top 12 assets. It's going to be great. Herbert's going to be phenomenal. I love Mahomes, but if you offered me this for my Mahomes, I would be seriously considering it. Seriously considering it. I think it's a pretty damn good package to get for Mahomes. You got to give up Love and Watson as well, but that wide receiver upgrade is massive, and I don't think the QB downgrade is, is anything crazy. Man, that's um oh, man. Like I'm not a big I'm not a big advocate of moving off of Patrick Mahomes, Jay. But if I'm tearing down from Mahomes, I I don't want to tear down from Mahomes to like Daniel Jones or to Tua yeah. or to Jordan Love. I want to tear down just a little bit. Herbert's One like tier. the per That's the perfect like I moved off of off of Mahomes. I got Herbert but then you give me an Olave and a London and whatever Gibson could become. And I could talk about how much I believe Jordan Love can be good all I want. We have no idea what that's going to yep. be. This could look like in a year from now, it could be Mahomes and Watson for Herbert London and Olave. And I still think I'm, ta I'm taking the Herbert London and Olave side. This is um, it's a big boy deal, but I like this trade a lot, Jay. A lot yeah. for Dubridge. It's a, it's a good trade for sure. And, and it's one you have to consider. If you have Patrick Mahomes, no question. Okay, let's go to Evan. Let's go to Evan, Jay. Go ahead now. Let me move this out of the way so you can see what the trade is. We're a little too big over here. Let's go there. All right, Jay, what do we have right here on this one? Evan traded away Drake London and the 101 and got back AJ Brown and the 102, Ray. Easy tear down from the 101 to the 102. And you're trading or tearing up and going from Drake London all the way to AJ Brown. He is an Eagles fan, but I really like this. I really like this for Evan. Getting AJ Brown is phenomenal. And the 102 will still have a ton of value. How do you feel about this one overall? 12 team, start 10 best ball. 
Honestly, man, I think I'd rather have London and Bijan Robinson over AJ Brown and whatever I'm getting at 102. Really? <sighs> I I do. I think I I think Bijan makes up for whatever gap is between London and AJ Brown and I'm going to assume this is single quarterback because it doesn't indicate super flex. Um I'd rather this have is- 12 teams start 10 PPR. Yeah. Doesn't it doesn't say it doesn't say super flex. Like I'd rather have Bijan way over Jameer Gibbs. Like give me Bijan in London over Gibbs and AJ Brown for me. Um Yeah, that's I don't know, Jay. You seem to be very convicted that this is easily AJ Brown in 102. It would be for me, yeah, very easily. I, I know you like London, and I know London's got a ton of value, but I, I know what A.J. Brown's going to give me. He, he could easily double the production of what Drake London could do in a season, right? And you're getting the 102. If that's yeah. Henry, Jackson Smith, and Jigba, um, I'd be willing to take it. And he, and he made another move, right? So the next trade was him trading away the 102 and getting Michael Pittman and the 106. Um, I don't know if I would make that move, but again, another leverage trade, getting another pick back, getting another player back. So now he's got A.J. Brown, Michael Pittman and the 106 for Drake London and the 101. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. This is what I want the people to kind of talk to us about right here. They can't see it, but that is the 101. I want to know what side would y'all rather have Bijan in London or AJ Brown and Jameer Gibbs? I don't know, Jay. I, I still it could feel be JSN, right? It doesn't have to be Gibbs. Could be JSN, could be whoever. Um, and that's the only reason why I think I'd consider it because okay. I, I, I'm very okay. certain of what Brown's going to give me versus what London's going to okay. give me. Okay. All right. I, I didn't even, I guess that could be JSN in a single quarterback league. JSN and AJ Brown or Bijan oh, yeah, in London. Ugh, I, still feel, I still feel like Bijan in London, like the, the value that those guys have in the, I just. So the, the so the question for me, Ray, to, to you and, and to talk on this a little bit, because the 101, right? We want Bijan, but in a best ball, does it give you any more pause, not to draft him, but to value him as highly as he is because we can just rotate running backs in best ball, have a bunch of guys who could get a shot? Um, is it worth it to you to have this hammer RB in a best ball league? In start or would you 10, rather have it yeah. in start 10? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and without knowing all the settings and the rules, I just got to, we just got to kind of keep it PPR, nothing crazy. If this thing were like point per carry or, you know, first yeah. down, I think it's Bijan. But this is a good one. I, I don't know. And it, the trades where I'm like, I don't know, I mean, it's probably pretty close and pretty good. So I'd be pretty curious. I'm curious about this one. A lot of trades involving the 101 here as we move up to the draft. And this will be the final one that we look at right here. Well, we've done we've done a couple from style. We've done a couple from uh, Stylies or style, whatever, however you pronounce the name. And I really don't want to talk about an eight team league. So let's do this one and wrap up with this final one. This is a lineup league, twelve team, one point five tight end premium start eleven. We've got the Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs stack being acquired for Kyler Murray. Hollywood Brown, the 105, the 207, and Jahan Dotson, Jay. Yeah, give me the Buffalo stack. Yeah, like, easy. By a mile. It's not even close. Like, okay, you've got the Kyler Marquis Brown stack. When is that going to hit the field? Maybe yeah. week 13 of the season? Yeah. It's, it sounds nice, but, man, you, you yeah, just want we're, Josh we're doing, Allen. We're doing, we're doing one more. That one wasn't even that good. That was pretty pretty easy for me. Ooh. Oh, boy. Um. What do we want to what do we want to end this show on, Jay? There's a lot of stuff going on in here. All right. Let's do this one from Moss, right? Bought some burrow to pair with my Deshaun Watson in the start 10 Superflex. Yeah, I even got a little sweetener. 101 is from our recent startup. So acquire Joe Burrow and Brian Robinson. Oh, he blurred the name out, Jay. We want to publicly shame whoever makes bad trades. So uh, Joe Burrow and Brian Robinson or Bijan Robinson, Kirk Cousins and Sam Howell. I will happily take Joe Burrow and Brian Robinson. Happily. Yeah. Love me some Joe Burrow. I don't, I don't hate the move though. Cause Kirk, we still like a lot. How could maybe still give you some starts, but I think I want Joe Burrow and Brian Robinson, even though it may, may seem gross right now. I think, you know, the long-term value will always be on the Joe Burrow side. Uh, it doesn't even seem gross to me. It seems pretty solid. Uh, man, 
Style Lee is just out here just wheeling and dealing. Got him some Patrick Mahomes and Dawson Knox for Justin Fields, Drake London, Isaiah Pacheco, a 24 first, uh, the 204, and a 24 third, Jay. This is the one we're going to end on. 10 team super flex, uh, half point bonus for the tight end. PPR start 12. The 24 first and the third project to be late, competing now, so decided to push the chips in for Mahomes at all costs. Jay, is this really at all cost to get Mahomes? No. You're getting an uncertain asset in Justin Fields, and you're tearing up all the way to Patrick Mahomes, the best quarterback in football. Yeah, Drake London could have a good season. Um, there's no real significant draft capital here. Pacheco, we'll see what he has. He could have a good year this year. Knox, you know, in a slight premium, sure, adds a little bit more value. But you, to me, you're just trading away a bunch of assets and getting Patrick Mahomes. I get Fields could have a good year, but I'd happily take Patrick Mahomes, no problem. Yeah, same. All right. Got a lot of got a lot of deal, a lot of lot of Drake London getting moves. See some Isaiah Spill. All right. Drake this London why, gets moved this, a ton. This is why this is why you join and, and when you join using the underdog promo, you get one of these little cool little underdog badges like that. So Ooh. shout out to uh shout out to them. Got a lot of a lot of messages I need to check in the old Discord. But there we go. Those are the trades brought to you by our patrons over at Destination Devi. It is draft week. Make sure you tap in with us live uh, uh, on Wake Up on Thursday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be streaming the first round of the draft and day two of the draft over on Destination Devi. We've got a lot of dope people that will be joining the stream. If you want to get your trades featured on the show, you go to patreon.com forward slash all gas. Sign up for the all conference tier higher at $7 a month, or you can go to Underdog Fantasy if you're a first time depositor. You put in 10 they match you 10 get free money from underdog and you get access to this for the entire year jay that's the show yes you got anything before the people uh for the people before we get out of here no nah, man it's draft week that's all that matters is the nfl draft i'm pumped for it let's get it baby we'll see y'all on thursday we out peace before y'all close off of the video i just want to say thank you for checking out the content on destination debbie really appreciate every single view that we get and the only thing that I ask is that you hit the thumbs up button, like the content, subscribe to the channel. And if you can, comment below for the algorithm really helps the channel grow. Now, if you want more exclusive access to me in the entire Destination Devi team, patreon.com forward slash all gas gives you that access. Now, if your money's a little funny, we do have free content for you. Make sure you subscribe to the All Gas newsletter. There's a link in the description of this video below. And subscribe to the Destination Debbie podcast radio feed, where we got all types of shows hitting airwaves every single week. Now y'all can get out of here. I appreciate y'all tapping in. It's All Gas all the time. I love y'all. I'm out of this thing. Peace. Peace.